Okay, YouTube friends, so here we go. We're going to try something here. So I got uh, this roof that I built up over here. I also added a little contraption here. So I have a just a cheap no-name winch right there. And then it's got wireless. Goes up. That's a 6x6 six six up there with a cable strap and a block and some tongs. You know, the forklift gets stuck on anything. And I can still do that, but for like smaller stuff, so I figured it'd be kind of, it'd be kind of convenient to have this little winch here. And even, you know, it can be hard to get a piece of equipment in and roll it over. So why not use that to roll the big stuff when I do the big stuff? You know, and I, I do have something <coughs> rather exciting coming up uh, I'm gonna go in the morning and look at a new piece of equipment so you'll see that on the channel if that ends up working out but let's throw some gloves on and get some stuff here been a week and a half, two weeks since I fired up the sawmill. So.
the one I'm cutting out of this one, it's a short little log, but I'm going to cut a bunch of 3x3s three out of it. Alright, I'm After I put some fuel in. Okay, YouTube friends, so I have this little deal. So this is going to be, a, I guess, my first promotional video. So I had a company contact me, and it's BHC. So it's a wireless receiver. So they sent me this for free, and uh, I told them I'd include it in a little video. So real basic. You pull it out of the box. Box comes with a charger, headphone jack to headphone jack with a little... You know, like a little cable. Then you have this hard one. So I will show you how you use it in the car. So we point that right there, aim. Nope, right here. So we plug it in right like this. And then we can plug it into this auxiliary. But I guess let me show you this first. You hold this down for a couple seconds and you get that ring. So then you can open up your phone. You go to Bluetooth and it's J45. Hold it still, Aim. Mm -hmm. So J45. So let me go to my channel because I don't want like some copyright something or other. And then I need to figure out my auxiliary in. Etsy so, has home. Visit Etsy.com. Hey there, YouTube. There we go. So now we have a YouTube video. About playing through my car radio and, uh, which there was an awful lot going on uh, this one know. obviously has bluetooth um, yeah. but day, one uh, thing i have noticed with this and i'll try and show it with my uh, stereo in my shop is the range stuff, is much uh, better with this it boasts a 26 hour uh, battery uh, time and you know you can do you can skip you can turn volume up and down uh, with it you can answer calls it has a microphone it has some pretty cool features um, they seem pretty affordable there will be a link in the bottom of the video for this so let's move on to the shop okay so we're out here in the shop we still have it on there from before so we can plug right here into that then we turn it on then we go to function auxiliary then we turn our phone on Either I'll use a plug it all the, the way in or there come along and drag it so, right in there because I don't do those. Now we have this. So, I figured so Amy, this you be my be assistant. You take this phone uh, and slowly walk so towards strong. mom. Well, you no, you just walk, honey. I don't um, need to see it. I want to show range here. And it's going to cater to what ninety-five percent of what I mail. So, so I'm going to show you something here. It's still working good. Keep going towards the house. Keep going. You know, I could probably come in at a slight angle and get a 12 foot. Keep going. There. No problem with the forklift. You know, but they, they slide easy enough. Even if I just came in at a slight angle, just inside the post here. So I can still hear it crystal clear. They push it. They push it easy enough on the fork. So uh, that's what we got there. And then okay, I come back. Got the, so they're all the way up there. I can't really see them any further. So what I'm going to do is I'm 
Come on. Closer on the end, but I also what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something that I discovered with this. Because this there. stereo so has... Let me that way. pause that. I just paused it by hitting that button. This stereo has Bluetooth built in. So I may have to turn this off. So to turn this off, you can just hold it for once it's on. You hold it for like three seconds. So this is off. So now... What we'll do is we'll back this video up. Hold this for a second, honey. Oop. Ads. Even though I don't make money off YouTube, they make me pay for ads. So, hold on. There we go. We're getting it paired here. Okay, so it's finally paired. I'll do some. Now do the same walk. So what I'm using is... I'm so using I want to show you a range difference. Right under there. These two, or I'm using these two, and that bump there by the 4 by 4 So I can get straight into those for 90% of what I mill, and I can do... Stop! A little bit further. Since I've owned this mill. Oh, stop! Now look right there. We have no Bluetooth, so start coming back. I can still get 16 foot now we got Bluetooth again so the range on this is absolutely longer come in at an angle and what I'm kind of think so the range greatly increases there and uh, oh we're, we're gonna show another function of this I shouldn't have turned it off and that's going to be this right here. A lot of times, like when I'm running the sawmill, I don't, like if I have my phone out there, I forget it, I might damage it, or it's out there in the sun, and it gets all hot and overheats. Can you hold this for a second, Abe? So, what we're going to do is we're going to plug this into my headphone jack, and then we're going to turn it on. And then I'm going to turn my headphones on. And now my phone's connected. There we go. So now I'm listening to that with my Bluetooth headphones. My phone's in there, plugged in, safe charging and all i have out here is my bluetooth headphones and i get great reception otherwise i got to find somewhere out here where i'm going to put my phone that i won't forget it it won't get in the sun and overheat if i put it in my pocket i can't tell you how many times in the last month my phone wiggling around in my pocket decided to make an emergency call and i had an interesting conversation with 911 so you know, the fact that it's in there and I get this good range and I can listen to music, I can listen to an audio book, whatever I want. The range on that is really, really nice. Um, so even if it's something that already has Bluetooth built into it, I found this to be very useful. I've been using it for several days now and, and the biggest thing I can say is the range. And the other thing I am very impressed with on this is this is something you don't often get anymore and I dropped it somewhere so it comes with very detailed instructions it gives you the product name and it tells you how to use it half the time anymore you get nothing or you get a link and, and overall this has been a great product I've been very happy with it um, I'll have to look, but I think they were 20 bucks or less. So, you know, that's not bad for what you get. So I just uh, wanted to share that with you all, and there will be a link in the video. So thanks for watching.
thousand three by threes. So let me make sure this camera is going still. And it is, so we're gonna load this one with my hoist. The wireless remote. It should probably free up one of my smaller sets of tongs, but hey, these ones were available. that in just so it doesn't roll off and hit me in the back of the legs. Then I just have a little car battery sitting over there. When I'm all done I can throw it on the charger. There we go. Log loaded up. So All in all it seems to uh, be working pretty good and I think it'll be nice because with this we got like a nice it's just under 16 because of the six by sixes it's 16 on the outside of them opening but I wanted it to carry over that into the sawmill so we don't have 16 inches of usable deck but I've only milled 16 footers twice on this thing and that could come in handy like come in at an angle with a forklift or a piece of equipment and hook that winch on just to help drag it that way. I think that would be useful. Um, I hung up three of them so like if I ever need to service those wheels rather than trying to get the forklift in there or something I can just move this over underneath one of them and lift the whole head up. You know because it's not like the wheels need service but there's bearings there so that means they have a life span. Eventually I'll need to replace them. So all in all I'm happy with it. I need to get some more one inch lumber milled and then I'll put the uh, metal roofing on and uh, also one inch lumber to enclose that in there and it'll be sitting pretty nice uh, all in all I'm oh, all in all I'm real real happy with this so far you know you can see I need a little more there but I got one two three of those I need some more there and then that section will have a slide overhang So, yeah, and we got this little wall here, which is under the roof, which will keep all the sawdust dry. Now, granted, it's a lot smaller of an area, but I can use my dust collector and vacuum it right out of there. So while we're at it, we, uh, my wife and I reorganized in there and laid down some extra sawdust to try and keep the weeds down. And we got an old tarp on the ground back there, too, and reorganized some of the lumber because the... Uh, the lumber stores are getting a little short. You know, I got some live edge stuff there. I got some scraps there, live edge there, some more live edge there, a couple of these short logs, and then that lumber there. The back stack is four by fours, four by sixes, a couple of six by sixes, and then half that is two by sixes. Then this one here has some random, like two by eight, two by ten on the outside. And I guess the four by fours back there are 12 foot. There's six and eight foot here. And then half that stack is two by fours. So got to get some more lumber in and get the meal in. But this roof will make it nice for, uh, for that, for, you know, summertime, keep the sun off you. Wintertime, you know, uh, keep the rain and snow off you. So. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more.